It vacuums, it mops, it's smart. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the iLife A11 robotic vacuum cleaner. And it's pretty sweet. So it's vacuum cleaner and mopping device. And if I spin this around and open it up, you can see it has buttons. It has a storage bin that is for dust. And this one's also for water. There's a spot on the top. There is a filter to try to get that air to be clean and get as much dust as possible. But it comes with a second one too. If you're just going to use it for vacuuming or carpet or something, then you can use this and get larger capacity for your dust, which honestly with multiple pets, this is kind of the way that I generally go, but it can also mop. So you use this one and I'll just put it back in, fill it with water. It's very chatty. <laughs> so you fill it with water and then you put this. This is the mopping attachment and it's a little dirty because it's been mopping my floor, which shows you it actually works pretty well. And all of these tend to have interesting underneaths. So on this one, the mop part goes on this side and then this side is obviously dedicated to vacuuming. This is the spinning brush. This little thing twirls around and tries to get all the bits that are on the edges or corners. And then of course you have wheels and you have the navigation system. So on the front, there's various sensors so that it doesn't smash into walls or get confused. And it works remarkably well. I have to say it uses something called LIDAR 2.0, which is a way of mapping and understanding how the terrain it's working in is actually laid out, which is critical because not only do you want it to get to every spot, but you want it to actually get back to its charging base when it's done. And it does just that. It works really well. They also use an algorithm and I love the name. It's called CV slam. What's slam? It's simultaneous localization and mapping. And I'll show you on the app comes with an app and on the app you can see there's a map of the main floor of my house so it can figure out where am I what have I done what do I still need to do and perhaps most importantly where is my charging station so I can go and charge in fact let's cut to a shot of it finding and going into its dock and docking and the reason I show you this is because I think that that's one of the easiest ways to understand how smart one of these vacuums are by asking the question, can you find your charging dock and can you dock correctly? <laughs> As you can see, it did a great job. Now, it features 4,000 pascals of suction, so it's a really good vacuum. On the vacuum side, it has a lot of suck, <laughs> which is what the pascals measure. It's also a human simulated cleaning path, which is important. There's two ways that these sort of devices tend to clean or vacuum. One way is it just sort of randomly goes around until, I don't know, it gets tired or it figures it's gotten 90% and then it goes and docks and charges, right? And you're like, did it really get everything? But the much better approach is what they call the human simulated. And what it does is it figures out rectangular regions and then it goes up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down in that region. And then when it's done, it then moves to the next one or moves to the next area. So it's a much better strategy. It's much better at getting full coverage. And frankly, when you watch it, you get a higher degree of confidence that it's doing a good job. <laughs> now, it does have a charging base, as you can see here. This is something you just leave on your floor somewhere plugged in. So I generally just put it directly below a power outlet. It's easy enough. And then it docks with these two metal strips here. All it does is, as you saw in that docking video, it then finds the dock charging station and then turns around and then pushes back until they're touching and now it's ready to charge. That's it, you don't have to do anything. It's super easy. It has a 5,200 milliamp hour battery, which gives it over two and a half hours of runtime. My experience, I have about a thousand square foot main floor. 
and I just turn it on and let it go and it does the entire floor in a single charge. That's pretty nice. They say it could do up to 2,600 um, square feet. I'm not sure it would get that much on a single charge, but of course if it's running low on charge, it can go back to the dock, charge up, and then come back out and resume where it was because it's smart. It has that map. It has a coverage map of where it's already done. So there's something very um, <laughs> encouraging about having it say, oh, I'm low on charge, but I'll come back. And you're like, cool, this is exactly what I don't want to do, right? So you could do customized cleaning areas. In fact, let me just launch the app and just show you some of its many cool features. So let's get that going. There we go. So you can see I'm already on a map of my main floor. And if I go to the more button, there's a lot of different things I can do. I can specify just scrubbing or I can have it just work on edges. Um, you can spot clean, you can define an area. You can say, just do everything twice, which obviously can take a long time and probably will involve docking and recharging, but it can do that. That's totally cool. You can schedule things. So if you really want, if you go to work every morning at 8 a.m., you can have this thing turn on automatically at 9 a.m. And every day it's mopping and vacuuming. And all you have to do is occasionally remember to empty the bin and make sure that there's water in it. That's all you got to do. Super easy. So let's cut to a close up of it actually working so you can see a little bit about that. Now, one of the other things you can do is you can actually adjust if you wanted to do vacuuming and mopping. They call mopping seepage. I'm not sure that's a, the best word for it, but that's okay. Um, and I can just say, you know what? I would like to actually adjust that. Whoops. Um, have to have the mop pad installed. It knows. See, they're smart and it knows to communicate with the um, app from the actual vacuum but I can then turn off. I've turned off mopping now, so it's just gonna vacuum. In which case, if I'm gonna really be doing that, then I should really change those bins because why not have the one with more capacity, right? And if you're noticing some of them look a little dusty, it's because I've been using this for a couple of months. I really like it. Okay, what else can I show you on the app? I think that's about everything. So let me go ahead and turn off that recording. I will say it's really fun to be remote and actually have the app running so you can watch from work. You can check in and say, hey, look, it's done the entire living room and now it's doing the dining room. So much nicer than you doing it. And let me show you what else it comes with. It comes with a warranty and I got to give them props. Really good user manual. It's a atypically well written and well laid out. I'm so used to manuals that are just afterthoughts and then poorly translated. This one's really good, which is really helpful because this does have a lot of smarts and a lot of modes. So let's see, I showed you the docking station. I showed you the alternate bin. It also comes with a rubber um, brush. And I think this is if you only have hard surfaces, this will work better in um, conjunction with the mop has a spare filter, which is really handy. It has a spare mop unit, right? So this one, at, over time, it's gonna get pretty grungy, at which point I can take it off and put this new one on so I can get that replacement. And if you're not someone who likes to have apps on your phone, sorry, getting some dust off, this is the remote control it comes with too. And it even comes with batteries. It's really everything you need. And what I really like, especially with that schedule in the app, is that you can set this up at like grandma's condo and just let it go. And every morning at 5 a.m. it starts up and it does a quick vacuum of the whole space. And then it goes back to the dock station. And if you put that like under a table or something, she'll never realize. She won't have to worry about it. And every day it's a little bit clean. It's a little bit nicer. Now, we should talk about the quality of the job it does. And like all of these units, it does a good job, but not as good a job as a human sitting there manually vacuuming or manually mopping. But I figure 
I don't do vacuuming and I don't do mopping on a daily basis, but with something like this, literally probably almost every day with these sort of devices, as I leave the house, I just push the button and start it and let it go. And the proof that it works is that every time I go to empty the bin, there's plenty of dust and cat hair and dog hair and all sorts of like dirt and debris. All of it has been picked up from my carpet and from my floor. So again, my floor, I occasionally have to do a proper mopping with soap, but for between those periods, just to keep it cleaner than just ignoring it, <laughs> yikes, then <laughs> these work great. They're really, really a nice adjunct or a addition to your occasional proper cleaning. And that's really all I want out of it. And it does a really good job. Now, two caveats with this. The first one is that I actually have lost one of these because these just pop on and it looks like it's hard to take off. But in fact, it is not super hard because more than once, it's somehow gotten underneath like the leg of a table or something and then popped off. And while the vacuum is very smart, it doesn't know when that has happened. So more than once I've looked at the vacuum and I'm like, something's wrong. And then I flip it over and I realize, oh, the brush has gotten lost again. <laughs> it does come with an extra one, so that's good. But I wish they would have had it screw on, which I've seen from a lot of other vendors. The other thing I will say is that when you put the mop on, that putting this mop accessory on gives it just a little bit of a different profile when it's moving around. And that's enough that if you have the base station on carpet rather than a hard surface, that I found that it has a very hard time docking. Solution's really easy. If you're using it just for vacuuming, keep the mop unit off. And if you want to use it for both mopping and vacuuming, then put this on the hard surface in your house. Don't put it on carpet. And in general, you want to do that anyway, because if you have it on carpet and then it finishes and the mop is wet, then what's going to happen is it's going to have some of that water go into the carpet. Suboptimal easily solved. You can simply not use it for mopping and just use it for vacuuming, or you could put this on the hard floor area of your house, whether that's wood or tile or linoleum or whatever, easily done. And if you want to put this under a table or behind a couch or something, as long as it's accessible enough for this to be able to maneuver and get to it, then it's a nice way to keep things out of view. It's really all I have. I am a fan of this. I think that they've done a really nice job. The app in particular makes it really fun. And <laughs> I like to have a clean house, but I don't necessarily want to do the work. So devices like this are absolutely fantastic because they do a lot of the heavy lifting. And if it's not a hundred percent job, Hey, you know, it's like getting a maid to come in and realizing that, yeah, you know, they don't do the best job, but it's better than not being done. And that's pretty darn important. So it's everything I got. The only thing we need to talk about is the price. But before we get to the price, I'm going to ask if you could subscribe to my channel, click or tap on that subscribe button, then turn on notifications, please. And we're connected. Great. This is the iLife A11 robotic vacuum cleaner, and it's $399.99 at amazon.com. And you definitely want to check because I've seen price discounts from $70 to $80. The most recent one I saw was $80 off, making it $319.99 at Amazon.com. You know what? For $300, I would definitely appreciate having this do a lot of the work for my cleaning in my house. And it's exactly what I do. And it works great. And if you're still doing your vacuuming by hand or you're not doing it, ooh, get one of these instead. <laughs> That's all I got. I'll hope to catch you in my next video.